let's quickly create a camera lattice inside the blender. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. I have a pretty cool add-on here for you to kind of show off. Now, there's not much in terms of documentations. I don't think there's any YouTube videos. So, we're kind of walking into unfamiliar ground here. This is called Lattice Magic. It is available for free. I'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. The developer at the moment is on absolute fire. This add-on adds some lattice-based utilities to Blender. You can use a tweak lattice and you can set up a camera lattice. Now, I had a user a couple of weeks ago asking, is this possible? Well, it is now. So let's quickly jump into Blender and not waste any more time. Now, just as a quick tip when you're installing the add-on, what you might need to do is take out the folder, put it on the desktop and re-zip it up and then install the add-on. Anyway, let's quickly add in an object so we can create a little bit of deformation. Let's go with the default cube. It should be there already, but hey, I live in the wild side. Let's add in a modifier and let's quickly add in something like a bevel modifier and we'll just spank this up a little bit. And we'll just hit apply. What I'll do is I'll just quickly add in a subdivision surface and we'll make this four by four. And the shortcut to apply is control and A. There we go, I'm happy with that. I'm going to set up my camera. I'm going to just use the viewport Control Alt Numpad Zero. Oh, I'm just full of tips today. We'll quickly set up a camera and let's go to the end panel on the right side. So we'll press N to bring this up and you can see here Lattice Magic. Now, what I need to do here is I need to really put this inside of a collection. Now, there's several ways we can do this. We could right click up here, but the quickest way to do it is press M on the keyboard, move to collection, and we'll call this Test. And we'll hit OK. I'll then come up to the camera lattice options. I'll hit the plus sign to add in the object. I'll go to the collection, I'll make that the test and I'll use the dropper tool and I'll select the camera inside of the outliner. Happy days. Once I'm happy with that, I can generate the lattice. Now the resolution, depending on how much you want to deform the object, we'll maybe go to something like 15. Let's test this out. We'll hit generate lattice, let's see what we get. And we get a very nice camera lattice. Perfect. This is one of these features that if you're a character animator or you just need to nudge a little bit of geometry, this might come in handy. Now, in order to use this, we need to quickly tab into edit mode. You can see here I have points. I can select a point and I can use the move tool or whatever just to manipulate these points. Now, obviously, the higher the resolution, the more the more freedom you get, but there is a kind of trade-off when it comes to slow down speeds. So let's put it that way. So I can move things about. Let's excel and drag these out. Pretty cool. I can quickly jump back into object mode and you can see here that I was on frame 48 and I have a value of 1 and I can put this up and down. Now of course this can be keyframe so if I right click on it and set a keyframe on frame 48, let's go to frame 70 perhaps, let's put the value to 1 which is obviously 100%. I now have this camera lattice deformation, how cool is that? Nice and simple, very easy. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how all of the add-on works. There is a few things here, so you can tweak the lattice using the 3D cursor. It does recommend you delete the lattice using the UI because you might run into an issue otherwise. And obviously you can build upon this, you can add more lattice deformations, and you can obviously add in different objects. And that has been Lattice Magic. It is available for free, which is pretty epic. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it helps the channel out big time, please just hit that button, it costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get in contact, you know what to do. Take care.